Did you call bank? I call game. What is up, Pack Nation? It's Pack Gaming here. So we're gonna talk about some news today, and that's Greg Monroe, the free agent Greg Monroe. He had been cut from the Phoenix Suns and was a free agent, and some people thought he was gonna go to the Pelicans, and the Pelicans even offered him something, but he denied that offer, and he accepted a signing with the Boston Celtics, a one-year, $5 million deal to the Boston Celtics. And that's actually a really big deal, and I'll get to the details in that in a bit, and we'll compare it in NBA 2K18. However, before this video starts, I'm reminding y'all that my 75,000 VC giveaway for NBA 2K18 ends tomorrow night. So if you wanna win that, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and then tweet at me, done. Once you do that, I'll put you in a randomizer, and you could win, guys. Greg Monroe, here you are on the Celtics. I'm pretty sure his number's not gonna be 43. He is in his prime of career, 27 years old, even though he did a lot better back in Detroit when he was younger. He is a really, really, really good rebounder, and he scores in the post. He's averaging 11 points per game and eight rebounds a game, which is really good, in only 23 minutes of play. That is starter numbers. That is good starter numbers. Now, once everyone is healthy, he would be considered the seventh best player on his team, at least at the moment, which is actually a really big deal. I want you to think about this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven players who are basically 80 overalls. Greg Monroe is a 79, but I bet you he'll probably go up in, in a couple weeks. Seven players, guys, seven players in the 80 overall. There's not another team in 2K, not even the Warriors, that are even close to having seven 80 overall players. And also Marcus Morris is in 78 overall. He's like right behind that. That's crazy. That's that's a really, really good pickup for the Celtics. According to 2K, he would be the sixth man right now, but that's, of course, because Marcus Smart and Gordon Hayward have not returned. But at the moment, he'd be sixth man. He's probably going to be playing power forward. It's kind of a weird deal. It's whatever the coach is going to want to do. He, he, they can do a lot of things, and then they can put the power forward, center. They could even start him over marcus morris at power forward or they could put him at center and then put al horford on power forward i read that online that people want it they think that'd be a good idea oh they could do a lot of things with him this is a really good pickup for the celtics before picking up greg monroe the boston celtics were the third best offense in the nba the seventh best defense and the third best overall team in the nba and now with him they're considered the second best offense the fifth best defense and the second best overall team in the NBA right behind the Warriors. They would straight up, they are considered right now, according to 2K, the second best team in the league. Straight up after that. They are favorites to make it to the NBA Finals, according to 2K. I think that's a pretty big deal. I think that's a great pickup. He did great with Detroit, and then when he played for the Suns and the Bucks, he was not as good as he usually was. But I think now being put into the system, he's going to play a lot better, especially now that he's 27 years old. I think there's a lot of potential for him to be a really exceptional player there. But what do you guys think about this pickup for the Celtics? Do you think it is a really good one or a really bad one? Leave it in the comments below. If you like my channel, please give my channel a sub, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call bank?